What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 6, Problem 41 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 6 is all about force and motion part 2, and in problem 41 we have someone riding a bike and we're asked the smallest radius of a turn that the biker can go around given their speed and the coefficient of static friction. So first off I just want to draw like a very basic picture. So if this is our bicycle rider, we're going to have the centripetal force toward the inside of the loop and we're going to have the force of friction on the other side. The smallest radius of the turn will be just on the verge of the bike slipping, so we can say that the centripetal force is equal to the force of friction. The centripetal force is equal to mac, this being the centripetal acceleration, and this is going to be equal to mu s max times the normal force. This is again because it's on the verge of slipping, and so we have no acceleration in the y direction, and that means that the normal force of the bicycle rider is equal to the weight force of the bicycle rider. So then we can rewrite this and say mac is equal to mu s max mg. And now you can see we have an m on both sides, so we can cancel those out. And then we'll have ac is equal to mu s max g. And we can expand this further, and we know that the centripetal acceleration is equal to the velocity squared over r. So we can say v squared over r is equal to mu s max g. And since we're looking for r, we can rearrange this by multiplying both sides by r, and then dividing both sides by this entire term. And when we do that, we'll get r is equal to v squared divided by mu s max g. And so we know our velocity, it's given in the problem, 29 kilometers per hour, and we need to convert that to meters per second, so we know that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters, and then we also know that one hour is 3600 seconds. And so when you plug all that into your calculator, you should get 8.1 meters per second. And so now we have all the values we need to plug into this equation. So we can say r is equal to 8.1 meters per second squared divided by 0 0.32 times 9.81 meters per second squared. And when you plug all that into your calculator, you should get that the radius is equal to 21 meters. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.